I mean, when growing up, I, I'm a little older than you, but growing up, it was always like, you guys, you have to work a lot. Mm-hmm. You got to work. You got to work a lot. You got to work overtime. You got to do this. You got to get there early. You got to leave late. You got to work. You got to work. You only need six hours sleep. You get enough sleep when you're dead. Yeah. And I, I used to say that all the time. Me too. Yeah. When, when I was in my early 20s, then I hit 30 and I was like, <laughs> no, I think I want a little more sleep. And then I hit 40 and then I was like, yeah, I need to make sure that I'm taking care of that. That's like one of the first two things you should do. Rest yourself. Yeah. If your body's not rested, you can't heal yourself. Well, you're burning the candle at both ends, mm-hmm. right? You're going to, it's, it's going to run out at some point. You're just going to, it's going to catch up to you. Yeah. I so. mean, so get your sleep. Like plan it even if your kids have to sleep in the bed with you that's what happens to me a lot of times with my youngest <laughs> the, you know they, they'll help you sleep too yep. yep um but yeah uh get more than six hours yeah it will help you with the brain fog if anything brain uh, fog. Or, well and it, it, it there's been a ton of studies now that sleep it's it's good for cognitive health it's good for physical health it's good for i mean energy levels it's there's just so many things in fact uh what is it i've heard someone describe it as like um it's where it's where your brain goes to therapy. It's it's yeah. where essentially it works out all of the the emotional and mental issues that you experience throughout the day. So it's I can't overstate how important sleep is. It's like when you call IT at your job and the first thing they tell you to do is restart your computer. Yeah. Consider sleep like you getting restarted. That's it. You Honestly, know? that is a fantastic <laughs> metaphor, man. That's absolutely amazing. You do that and a lot of things fix themselves. Yeah. So uh, get get sleep and a lot of other things will fall in line, but not everything. Yeah. Like yeah. the study show. Well, so, so actually that brings up the next thing is, and sleep can definitely help with this, but it's not a cure-all, is uh, a lot of people are interested in weight loss. So so we ask these questions like, okay, in, in terms of like your goals, and this mm-hmm. is very common. We're at the beginning of the year now, obviously lots of people. Um, New Year's resolutions. Setting those New Year's resolutions. Of those goals, 72.6% of the people that answered the survey said that they wanted to lose fat, mm-hmm. right? Which is pretty common. Yeah, like everybody uh, wants to lose a couple of pounds and look good and have their muscle show and mm-hmm. and all that. Um, what I thought was interesting is then when the follow up question to this is, well, what diet do you follow or are you going to follow? Fifty four percent of them said that they don't follow any plan. So seventy two percent say uh, they want to lose weight, but then half of them go, well, but I don't monitor what I eat. I have no idea what I what I'm going to do to. Yeah, it, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it does. It's. It's not good. <laughs> it's counterproductive, honestly. Well, and, if you want to lose fat, don't eat it. Yeah. Well, and, and what it boils down to, and, and like I, when I see this stat, I think a lot of different things. I think that there's so many like fad diets out there nowadays mm-hmm. that people just oh, say, yeah. okay, just screw it. I'm done. I'm just going to eat whatever I want to eat and hopefully I lose weight. But I want to say that there's definitely a better way to do this. There's a better way. In fact, um, so I read a lot of books, yes. I, re- I listen to a lot of podcasts, right? Yes. Um, I can't remember who said it, but at one point in time, they talked about how, what diet literally means is not necessarily like, you know, we've got all these different diets like Atkins and keto and carnivore and vegan and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, what the word actually means in Greek or Latin, somebody in, on YouTube is going to tell me exactly what. <laughs> Please but, do. Tell us. Uh, but essentially it comes from the word dieta, which just means way of life. And so really like, that's what it's all about. It's yeah. like, how are you going to structure your life in a way? That's going to make you the healthiest way, uh, the, the healthiest version of you possible. Right? And, it's, and it's not easy because no. you've like we've showed you've got sleep problems. You know, you're in the afternoon, you're tired. So you're going to go have that sugar. Right. Or you're going to have that candy bar. But don't like get a little more sleep and try to do it that way or something. Yeah. You definitely have to balance diet balances that's all it is it's life balance exactly yeah well and and just the fact that people i mean and obviously people are in animals in general are hardwired to do this when you experience increased levels of stress Mm -hmm. your natural response is to reach out to those comfort foods things that are high in fat things that are high in carbs um cheeseburgers especially ones that are a combination (laughs) of those ice cream it's just like it makes you feel so good at the moment but um and honestly you know Part of this is if you want to have a way of life that's sustainable, Mm -hmm. you have to have room for that, right? Yes. And because these people that are like, no, you have to go all in or bust, um, I don't think that they're living life. I don't think so either. I think that there's there's that balance. You don't have to just... Okay, I'm gonna go on a keto diet. I'm only gonna have no carbs, nothing. No, just just cut back a little bit on the yeah. carbs. 